your next snack or laugh is too short to be serious. This is definitely the most nervous and cautious I've been with a Biscuitville review, and it may be the most nervous and cautious I've ever been with any review. We've got two very intriguing items, and you know, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, peach is very good fruit, very good fruit alone, but I just have a hard time when it's artificial. Sometimes I have a hard time enjoying it. Now they got peach soda, it's got natural peach, peach pieces, so I'm hoping we get good natural flavor here. When we had the strawberry soda, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I had to drink the whole thing. And then we've got a Spam Biscuit. Now, I don't remember the last time I've had Spam. It's been so long that I don't remember what Spam tastes like. So, nervous, for sure. Spam Mac and Cheese Biscuit. But that is their new biscuit in the, on the block. And I think it's interesting. Because no one else has the balls to do this. Other than Biscuitville, a big chain in North Carolina with some... Virginia location. They have the potential to grow. They really do. But the, the big thing about them is they don't particularly want to rapidly grow. Why? Because they like local ingredients. Now, Spam, of course, is not a local ingredient. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to say that. But these peaches, local. Strawberries were local. Well, I guess to an extent. But there, there are some of these biscuits that rely on local Play, uh, local businesses so it's really cool to see this company do the things that it does um, but yeah not to hold you up too much longer we're gonna pose for the thumbnail and I ask that you please do subscribe like comment and share this video and check out my Instagram redneck snack so yeah we're gonna start with the spam biscuit very intriguing but it's here and I'm here so Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, now I remember what Spam tastes like. It's kind of like this hybrid version of ham and corned beef. It's not bad. Oh, did I ask you to subscribe? You need to do that if you don't already. That's important. Um, but no, the high quality of their biscuit ingredients, the nice egg as well, really helps out the spam. I wouldn't call it a remarkable biscuit, but I am enjoying this. And I really could eat the whole thing. The biscuit and all the other things that are in here are not too salty. So it's not, you know, overloading the salt when you got spam that's really salty. So it's kind of keeping that into respect. And it's really holding its own. It's doing a good job. So I have to give them credit for doing something very interesting with spam. You know, you never would have expected me to do a review on Spam. But honestly, it's it's pretty daggone good. I, I would say seven. It's not remarkable. It's not going to blow you away. But the way they work it, it really does go well. Like Spam on a biscuit. Who would have felt? Who would have thunk it? Okay, so peach soda. Last time I had a soda from here, it was divine. So we're going to have our fingers crossed. We're going to hope. We're going to pray. But we ain't going to do it on camera. So anyways, let's do this. High levels of carbonation there. And a pretty decent peach flavor. But I don't think I like it as much as I like the strawberry. It's very sweet. And very carbonated. It's not till I let it throw, flow down inside of me. I start to get to get that peach flavor. 
I wouldn't say I love it. I wouldn't particularly say I really like it. I think it's okay. Like it, it vibes pretty pretty nicely. Definitely better than any uh, sparkling water. That's for sure. But mm, I just wish it could be a little bit stronger on the peach flavor. But it's not bad. It's got nice undertones of peach. It's not artificial by any means. So, you know. I think, fittingly enough, that'll get a six. Just because I wish the peach burst a little bit louder. But other than that, it's a good soda. The Spam Biscuit was very interesting. I wouldn't say this was my favorite trip to Biscuitville I've had. But it definitely wasn't my least favorite it was very intriguing i think last time was my favorite trip because of that strawberry soda and then the biscuit well, i can't remember at this point but anyways hopefully uh when we get to the mid midsummer uh there will be more things for me to try and i'll be back at biscuitville other than that i hope you enjoyed this review and i hope to see y'all around yeah